All right, we are here at Camp Lindo High School. All right, we're here at Camp Lindo High School. Hi, we're here at Camp Lindo High School. Interviewing students about social media and their impact on happiness. So Jackson, which social media apps do you use? Snapchat and Instagram. You know, all the good ones. It's the normal Instagram, Snapchat, little Twitter in there. A Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I use Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Snapchat and Instagram, kind of. I'm a big snapper. Mostly Instagram and Snapchat, not a big Twitter guy. Snapchat and Instagram. I don't know, the usual high school ones. How much time do you spend on uh, social media a day? Um, I spend too much time on social media. Like an hour and a half, two hours. Like 69 hours. Yeah. Probably an hour a day, I'd say. Two hours. Two hours, I guess, or more. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> and with these apps, do you think that they are a positive effect on society and on you, or a negative effect? It's been a positive effect for me because it's helped me like get new friends, be able to communicate with my friends face to face. I believe it has a positive impact for kids our age, but it can be negative for I guess other people, I don't know. I think some social media like Facebook is like the only way I keep in contact with my grandparents. And you know, it's really nice to be able to talk to them and see what they're doing. I'm thankful for that. Social media could be a, a positive for a lot of students and I think a lot of students use it in a positive way. It gives students a chance to interact, I think, in different ways when they're not always seeing students face to face. I think they can communicate uh, in an effective way. Everybody's had some experience with some level of drama or a problem that's arisen since uh, using social media. Uh. There's obviously some positives to it and the communication is probably a good thing, but the frequency and quantity that's being used I think is a negative. I think it's a distraction. I think it's I think it's just it's oh it's too consuming. Everything in moderation is key. Like a little bit of black tar heroin never hurt no one. A little bit of social media never hurt no one. I mean I hate it. I don't think this is helping their project. So uh, do you feel fulfilled or like happy? while using social media and like when you get likes? Uh, whenever I get likes, I feel aroused. In like middle school, I was really concerned with the amount of likes that I got, but throughout high school, like I don't really care anymore and I don't really care that much now. When I post pictures on Instagram and I get like over the amount of likes that my last picture was, because then that really makes me happy because then, then I feel that like more people are liking my pictures, I have more followers and it kind of makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, I just don't really care. I get pretty happy, especially when Ryan likes my photos. Why do you use social media? Um, no comment. All right. I use Instagram to remind people I do have a life. Like, you're like doing homework and you're like, Sh shoot, I gotta check and see what everyone's thinking of me. Social media is definitely a, a generational divide. I think when you get older, as you grow older, the one thing you want is to become more anonymous as possible. I sort of fear for your generation because you're just so exposed so early. And later in life, you're going to want to be able to find a place to hide. You know, that's the only way you can find peace, so good luck. Thank you.